Regan Slaymaker for International Boxing News. Now, I have the pleasure to be joined by former British Super Welterweight champion Bradley Skeet. Brad, France just done a very solid eight rounds down there at Selhurst Park. Yeah, solid eight rounds, great experience uh, for her. Very tough, uh, durable opponent, um, experienced opponent. And um, yeah, I'm proud, pr very proud of uh, how she's gone about things. And uh, she's had a hard couple of weeks with the passing of her nan. Um, and yeah, she, she's, she's got in there tonight and, and, and boxed extremely well. And I'm proud of her. Definitely. Before we get on to the opponent, obviously, boxing being boxing fighters you know it best yourself you do experience things outside the ring and sometimes you, you still need to fight as well how valuable with going through the horrible things that she has done and still fighting will be for the for the continuation of Fran's career yeah definitely it's uh, it's, it's an experience that I didn't dream she'd have to, to go through so so early on in her career but she was so professional and she 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 wanted to stay in the gym and she she didn't she miss a day and um, yeah, I'm like I said, just so proud of her. And, and that she get up, get over that and deal with that, then it just shows how, how tough and strong-minded she is. And she's 19, she's a baby, and she she's got old head on the young shoulders. Definitely, well, I'll congratulate her once again when I interview her after this as well. Let's talk about Dorota Norek. Um, I, in the week, I don't, I think the bit of the opponent was it. It was, I think it was only confer confirmed later in the week. But I was going to say to Fran. This was the perfect opponent in her development. Some might say it's a little bit too soon, but she's done really well with a really experienced operator in that. Yeah. Well, originally, uh, we, we thought Fran was going to be on a May 11th uh, card. It was a Cardiff uh, show. And uh, so that was the, her opponent from then. So she's known about it from then. So she's had a lot of notice. And um, yeah, so we obviously, um, she, she, she kept that. So it, yeah, it got confirmed uh, this week, but she's known about it for all that time. So. Yeah, she, she was in the gym and she was training. Very tough, durable, very durable opponent. And uh, in a full fight to deal with her that way and them great rounds and that great experience she's going to gain from that is is exactly what I want from her at this stage of her career. Definitely as well. Norek kind of fought uh, Stevie Levy for a, for, a, for a form of European title as well the, uh, in her last fight as well. What, what would you like for Fran next? Obviously, that was an eight-rounder. Would you like another eight-rounder? Could it be titles next? Yeah, no, this is, this is the, the, the learning curves and the experience and invaluable rounds she needs. Getting these eight rounds in. And it's her first eight-rounder today, so against, like I say, a very good uh, woman who's just boxer for a title. So, um, yeah, just keep chipping away. And she, like I say, she's 19, so another good few learning fights like that against experienced operators and then by the end of the, the year she'll be ready like she's, she, there's not be no stopping her and, and I've seen what she does in the gym I've, I've seen what she can do what she's capable of and I, I can't wait for her to, to show it and, and that's what we're doing we just keep slowly slowly building her and then when she's ready she'll be, she'll be getting them titles Definitely more to come from the billion dollar baby as well. I do want to touch on uh, another fighter you uh, you help, you help, you're a big part of the training team, a certain WBC featherweight world champion, Sky Nicholson. Obviously, you're a big part of that team with Eddie Lamb. I mean, what is that like being a part of a world, world, world champions camp? Uh, it's unbelievable. As you know, I was with iBox and me and Eddie Lamb go back from the start of my career. And I knew him as an amateur too, so he's been, he's been a big part of my life and a big part of my career. So um, so when he asked me if I would help him out with uh, training with Sky and being part of Sky's team, uh, it was an honour and a pleasure to, to be part of it. And uh, for me as a, a, a coach coming through, um, what more could I answer for being in, in a camp with a world champion and Sky, we're, we're close, we get on with, with she's a great fighter and um, she's here tonight with Eddie, so which shows Fran's support, so it's someone who Fran can look up to and and they, they train and spar with each other, so it's great experience for Fran. And yeah, it's, it's to, to, like I say, to get that experience working with Sky is, is unbelievable. Definitely as well, I have to ask, obviously every time you mention Sky Nicholson, you have to mention a certain Amanda Serrano as well. Very confident you think Sky could do the business against Amanda, should they fight in the future? 100%, it's a great fight. Um, Sky, Sky was mandatory for the WBC belt, Amanda Serrano vacated it. She's got the other belts, she's she's holding them up, She's she's... You, she's moving up weight fighter Kate, Katie Taylor she, she, she needs to fight or vacate so Sky's got herself in that position to, to be fighting for them world titles now so she, she, she's, she's been calling it for however long I know so she's, like, now she's got the WBC she wants to pick up them other belts she's, she's future undisputed champion and that's what she wants to be for sure as well. Shout out to Sky, Eddie, Al and everyone at iBox Gym every single time as well. Brady, I want to touch on kind of your career, your transition from fighter to pro, obviously. 
I mean, I don't think there was anyone you turned down to fight, Brad, in your career. I mean, it, it, very, very successful career, if I do say so myself. But what would you say the biggest challenge you've found transitioning from fight to coach has been? Uh, just, I miss it every day. I want to get in there myself. But <laughs> I can't remember is that I've got to tell, give the advice and then uh, not, not the one getting punched. But, yeah, the transition has been... I've, I've took it really well. Um, I, like I say, uh, working with Fran and, and my other fighters, I... For me, I'm in the gym every day. I'm, I'm still part of it, big part of it. So I still get the buzz of it. Um, I get involved, friends. Like I can, I can give her instructions, tell her, but she learns best when I show her. So it keeps me in, in, in shape, involved when I'm showing her. We mix and we do body sparring. We, we, I'm in, like I say, I'm part of, it, I'm part of it still. So the, it, the transition's been good, but like I'm, I'm still in the gym. So I just, I just don't get punched in my face no more. So it's all good. I think that's a joy that every fighter wants to dream of when they, when they finish their career as well. What other fighters? Sorry, Brad. Obviously, you had, you had Mick. I don't, obviously, I don't know if he's still fighting as well. But kind of, which other? other the fighters you have in the gym as well yeah, uh, I had obviously Mick Hennessy Fran's brother Michael and uh, he, he's having a rest now but he'll be back he'll be back he's just taking some time out now uh, I've got Robert Finson he's a welterweight uh, young welterweight coming through 7-0 and so he's doing really well um, and, and Fran and obviously I help out with, with Sky with Eddie Lamb so yeah just a, a few uh, little stable but I'm enjoying it I'm learning and uh, yeah looking forward to the future Perfect. Shout out to Robert and looking forward to see Mick back in the ring as well. Brad, I won't keep you for too long, but uh, my final one, we ask everyone who comes on the channel this one, all said and done, what does boxing mean to you? Uh, boxing means the world to me. I've been, it's been a big part of my life. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, listen, I've had good times, bad times. It's, like I say, it means the world to me. I, I'm still part of it now. And I, like for, for me not to have boxing and, and be around it, like I, d I don't really know what I'd be doing. So yeah, it's, it's, it means a lot to me, boxing. Perfect. And long may it continue, my ad, Brad. Thank you very much. Thank and congratulations. You. Cheers.